essentially we we didn't leave our heavenly home heaven isn't our home creation is our home within god our god is our home if you like we've come out of him we are spirit we've come out of spirit um we haven't taken on satan's fallen identity we have come into a realm which has fallen and our role within that realm is to bring restoration to it um, but we're not fallen as satan fell so we we may come into this realm and have to reconnect with ourselves in this realm i have to connect spirit soul body um as a way of seeing that as we're restored creation will be restored creation is waiting and longing for the revealing of the sons of god so we need to reveal our sonship to creation which is why we need to be in this realm connected to all the realms so that we can be a demonstration of god's heart and desire within the realms of heaven your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven in creation as it is in heaven but we've not taken on the fallen identity of the accuser we have just entered into a world which was created in a sense by adam's and eve's choice to be independent so it's a world which is shaped after the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and as we come into that we then are to bring it back into relationship with the tree of life if you like so there is a purpose you know the sonship mandate was to overcome and to rule to have dominion um that dominion has just been taken through humanism to be control and empire and everything else so god wants us to restore relationship the relationship with the sons of god so god created us not to live in heaven and that's not our home god created us to co-heir and co-create with him in the whole of creation and therefore there is a role for that so is there a heavenly purification purging of creation well there is us coming into our identity which enables cr creation to be set free into our identity it's like creation is longing waiting for the revealing of the sons of god but it also talks about creation being set free into the glory of the children of god so as we come into that true sense of our sonship which is at the glory the the weight of who we are then there is a process for us to have our soul which has been connected to this realm aligned to our spirit which is coming from our identity out of heaven and of course there's a renewing of the mind that comes because when we come into this world although we're alive in the spirit our spirit and soul are not connected correctly and that is what bringing us back into wholeness and oneness i think is about so i would encourage you when you're looking at things like this just relax and enjoy becoming the son that god created you to be becoming the person and listening to the vast sum of his thoughts about you tuning into the reality of who you really are and that will have a positive effect on creation in that that will be a revealing of the true your true identity in your role within creation itself so you are being restored you are learning to breathe easily again to find that place where life is flowing through you and in you and then creation begins to respond to you in your sonship um, now yes there is the opposite going on there are uh, the accusations of the enemy which will try and keep people from their true identity um, but satan fell because he said i will be like god eve bought the lie that she could be like god but without god and therefore the tree of the knowledge of good and evil is really a, the, the cho choice that man has made to follow independence um, jesus came to enable that independence to come to an end the lost identity to be recovered so that people could fully understand who they really are and that their identity with the world will be redefined through our identity not with a fallen or broken world but with the restored desire that god has as the creator of the world of creation so that we can participate with him in its full restoration